world of fandom, there have always been challenges among nerds. Who knows more about geeky pop culture? Well, now there's a contest to set it once and for all. This is the Nerd Card Showdown. And now, here's your host, Josh Lucas. What's up, everybody? Welcome, all you beautiful nerds from around the world, to another episode of the Nerd Card Showdown. Showdown. Thanks, Chad. Two team center, one team moves on. The real spiel, last week, whew, they had a rough go of it. They are here to redeem themselves, and their butt is on the line. But as Guardian Levioso, led by Star Wars Santa, has something to say about that. And now, let's meet the teams. First up. For Asgardian Leviosa, we have Star Wars Santa. Santa, how are you? Oh, good evening. Let's do this. Let's do this. We also have Landon and or Spider-Man. Hey, guys. We've got Burke the Nerd. What's up, nerds? And of course, we also have audio. What's going on, guys? And for the blue team, the real spiel, we've got Alan. I've spoken. <laughs> we've got Alex. What's up? Hello there. Hello there, indeed, sir. We've got Todd. How's it going, y'all? What's up, Todd? And we also have Zach. What's going on, guys? Good luck to everybody. Awesome sportsmanship. You love to see it. Santa, I'm going to need you to pick high or low. Let's go low. Oh. It is low, sir. So you guys have the ability to pick or pass on this board here. I like the board. I think our team likes the board, but we're going to go with it. Sounds good. All right. So, Real Spiel, you will see your board in just a second. We're going to go with Santa's team to start it off. So, Santa, you have the board. Where are you going to start? Let's go hello there for 600. Hello there for 600. A former Grand Master of the Jedi Council, this purple saber-wielding Jedi could see shatter points in the Force. Hopefully, this also helped him land on his feet. Oh, that has to be Mace Windu. It, it was Mace is Windu. indeed Mace Windu for 600 points. Put those points on to the board. All right, land. you have the board. Let's keep the trend going with Hello there for 400. Hello there for 400. This Jedi, who was Obi-Wan Kenobi's master, once said, there's always a bigger fish. Was Qui-Gon Jinn? It is indeed Qui-Gon Jinn. Put those points onto the board. All right, Burke. So far, so good. <laughs> I just want to know what it is, so I'm going to do the nerd... Is that acronym nerd? Crime? Yes, nerd chronym. Yes, they are nerdy acronyms. And you said for two hundred. Two hundred. I'm just gonna right. see what go. it is. What's this stand for? Role playing in... game. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness! I think it is role playing game. Well done. <laughs> okay, all right. Cool. Put those I'll points under well, the board. <laughs> all right, audio, you are up. All right, let's go with uh, classic cartoons for two hundred. Classic cartoons for 200. What is the depicted cartoon? Who are the Smurfs? It is indeed the Smurfs. Well done. A perfect starting round. Let's adjust the points for the folks at home. 1,400 points. Oh, that's, that's good. That's very nice. Okay. And now let's get Alan on here and let's switch to your board. And, see and and let's better. see. Let's see. I'll give you a second to look it over. Here you go. 
Let's go with um, 290 villains. Gotcha. Here we go. This Dathomirian Zabrak Sith Lord was portrayed by Ray Park and made his first appearance in 1999's The Phantom Menace. Sidious. Unfortunately, it's not Sidious. It is Darth Maul. Darth Maul, first strike, but it's only a 200-er. Oh, All right, next up, Alex. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see the board here. Let's go uh, Netflix and chill for 200, please. Gotcha. Netflix and chill for 200. When a young boy vanishes, a small town uncovers a mystery involving secret experiments, terrifying supernatural forces, and one little girl. Is Stranger Things. It is indeed Stranger Things. Well done. Put those points on that board. All right. Next up is Todd. Hmm. I'm going to go with uh, 90s villains for 400. 90s villains 400 here we go he's depicted as the leader of the criminal organization known as the foot clan and serves as the main antagonist and arch enemy of the turtles and splinter shredder it is indeed shredder well done put those points onto the board all right and zach we are to you all right, I'm gonna go Walking Dead, Who's Who for 600. Walking Dead, Who's Who, 600. Who is this character from The Walking Dead? That would be Shane, played by John Bernthal. Indeed, it is Shane. Well done, sir. We will put those points onto the board for you. Okay, not a bad round. Even though you guys missed one, you're only 200 points behind. Santa. Okay, give me one second. All right. And now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, Santa, we are back to you, sir. You have the board. Hello there, 800. Hello there for 800. His Jedi member was the first Mandalorian to be granted entrance into the Jedi Order. This Jedi member, that's Chet's fault. Eventually, he became the leader of Mandalore. Gonna give you five, four, three. No, two. no, I'll just say Quinlan Voss, even though it's wrong. Gotcha. No, yep, it is Tar Vizla first strike for Asgardian Livioso. Sorry, right, uh, we got this. All right, Landon. Our Spider Man, I meant. Still seeing the last question. Yep, sorry, there you go. Let's try my powers Marvel for 400. Gotcha. Here we go. Optics Force Blasts, Master Tactician, Marsh, Master Martial Artist, and Hand to Hand Combatant. Who is this Marvel character? Are you looking for the character's name or the character from the comic or the cinematic universe? I will accept either the real name or their superhero name. Who is Cyclops? It is indeed Cyclops. Well done. Got those points onto the board for you. All right, Burke. You are up. I'm going to try Nerd Cronim for 600. Nerd Cronim for six. What does Ty stand for in the Tie Fighter from Star Wars? Going to give you five, four. Twin Ion Engine? hey -o! What a pull! It is Twin Ion Engine! Well done, sir. Put those points onto the board. <laughs> All right. 
Audio, you are up. Oh, if you're talking, you might be muted. Do we lose audio's audio? Uh-oh. Technical difficulties. Audio, are you there? Uh-oh. Oh, he had to drop out for a second. Hear me? Can uh, you hear me? Oh, yep, got you now. Got you now. All right. Uh, let me get to do classic cartoons for 600. Gotcha. Classic cartoons for six. What is the depicted cartoon? Who is Yogi Bear? It is indeed Yogi Bear. Well done. Put those points onto the board. 3,000 points total for the red team here. Let me adjust it for the people at home. And then we're going to switch boards. And we'll start back at the top. All right, Alan, you have the board. Yeah, we're here. All right. Um, we're going to take... Sorry, it's uh, lagging on my end. Oh, it's all good. Um, Netflix and chill for 400. Netflix and chill for 400. Here we go. Inspired by the Twilight Zone, this British dystopian sci-fi anthology examines modern society and unanticipated consequences of new technologies. Can I give you five? It's dark materials. Unfortunately, it is not. It is Black Mirror. It's a second uh, strike. Working with two strikes, guys. Uh, All right, Alex, you are up. Okay, um, we are going to, let's do 90s villains for 600, please. Gotcha. Here we go. Arch enemy to Liu Kang and grandmaster to the Mortal Kombat, or Mortal Kombat tournament. This powerful and evil warlock is a shapeshifter that absorbs the living souls of those he defeats. Who is Shang Tsung? It is indeed Shang Tsung! Well done! Put those points onto the board! All right, Todd, you are up. I'm gonna go. Let's see. Um, let's go 90s villains 800. Gotcha. Here we go. Played by Wesley Snipes, this crazed and dangerous psychopathic criminal was the main antagonist in 1993's Demolition Man. I don't know his full name, but it's Phoenix. Ryan, what do you think? We will accept. We will accept Phoenix. Simon Phoenix, well done. We'll put those points onto the board for you. All righty. Zach, we are to you. All right. So, uh, go Walking Dead, Who's Who, 800. Gotcha. Here we go. Walking Dead, Who's Who, 800. Who's this character? That is Judith Grimes. Well done, sir. Looks like we got a Walking Dead fan. And we've got some you points. Put pain. those points on the board. All right, 3,400, guys. Nice round. Nice round indeed. So you actually jumped a little bit ahead there. Oh. So as it stands, the real spiel has 3,400 points. Asgardian Levioso has 3,000. Santa, we're back to you. Big, we'll take uh, hello there for 1,000. Hello there for 1,000. Here we go. This Keldorian High Council member didn't just have a killer mask. He also was responsible for finding and bringing Ahsoka Tano to the Jedi. Oh, I know this one. Got to remember his name. Oh. 
Kenny. I'm drawing Kenny, a yeah. blank. Uh, oh, 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 I got it. Oh, Coon. Oh, oh nice Coon. pull, Santa. Nice pull, baby. Yeah, Put those points go. onto the board. <laughs> yes. Well done, sir. Well done. All right, Landon. We're back to you. Let's try my powers marvel for 600. My par powers marvel for 600. Immense superhuman strength, stamina, agility, reflexes, endurance, and durability. Enchanted hell fire chain. Invulnerability to fire, penance stare, and immortality. What Marvel character has these powers? Who is Ghost Rider? Let's see. I don't know. It is indeed Ghost Rider. Well done. Yes. Put those points yes. up there. All right, Burke. It's been treating me well so far. I know it's not going to. Let's do Nerd Cronim for a thousand. Nerd Cronim for a thousand. TARDIS, by the way, from Doctor Who. Well done. You picked the one <laughs> Doctor Who question on here. All right. What is TARDIS? talking about how bad this is. Um... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm going to give you five. I used to know it. It's really? um, time. Um, Could he give you a three? Yeah, I don't know. Two? I can't yeah, remember. That's all good. We're just second strike. Time it something. Is, Time and relative dimension in space. Everybody knows that, ah, obviously. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, do that. Second strike for you guys, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Audio. You got it, man. All right. So that's two strikes? Correct. All right. Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> let's keep it low. Go uh, run comics run. For 200? For 200. Sorry. Gotcha. Yeah. This 2006 comic run by Mark Wade pits Iron Man against Captain America. The tagline reads, Whose side are you on? Ooh, I I don't do comics, so. <laughs> um All right, I'll give you five. Boom. Um three. Civil War. Whoa! Nice pool. It is indeed Civil War. Put those points onto the board. Well as soon as it hit me, I felt stupid. I'm like, wait, who's that? Oh, Kind Man, Captain America. <laughs> you good, man. You good. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Alan, we're back to you. Just so you guys know, you're sitting at two strikes. Um, uh, from the mind of J.J. Abrams, 200. Here we go. Created by Jeffrey Lieber and Damon Lindelhoff. The Abrams and originally airing on ABC from 2004 to 2010, this television series reached critical acclaim as well as winning an Outstanding Drama Emmy in 2005. Lost? It is indeed lost. Man, what a bad ending, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Sure. All right, Alex, you are up. All right, for this next one, I think we'll choose. Let's go Netflix and chill 600. All right. Thanks, Alex. Here we go. This Dark Horse comic series was adapted into a Netflix series that premiered in 2019 and follows a dysfunctional family of adopted siblings after their father's death. What is the Umbrella Academy? It is the Umbrella Academy. Ooh. Well done. Put those points onto the board. We we're just talking about that off air. Events and I felt stupid. <laughs> uh, Todd, you are up. All righty. Um, I am going to do 90s villains for a thousand. 90s villains. A thousand. This big game hunter resides within the deepest, darkest dimensions of the cursed board game Jumanji and was portrayed by Jonathan Hyde in the 1995 film adaptation. Van Pelt. Holy crap. I think it is Van Pelt. Well done. Put those points onto the board. I wouldn't have got that one that right. That was so good. <laughs> All right, Zach. All right. Uh, big surprise. I'm going to go Walking Dead. Who's who? 400. Here we go. Who is the depicted character? 
I had a feeling he'd pop up, so I'm going to grab my bat and go with Negan. Nice. Well done, sir. It is indeed Negan. Paying off that uh, Walking Dead uh, watching. There you go. There you go. All right. That was a great round, guys. Great round. Uh, you're sitting at two strikes. You have 5,600 points. And I got to adjust, actually, the other team. I didn't adjust their, their points. So let's get that adjusted real quick. 48. So they have a slight lead on you, uh, Levioso. Uh, and we are back to Santa. You have the board. Are we on uh, strikes? Are we still sitting at two? You are still sitting at two, yes. All right. Well, uh, well, let's finish the hello there for 200. Bada boom, bada bing. This Jedi Master of Unknown Species has trained many Jedi in his over 900 years of life. Oh, Yoda who is. <laughs> well done, sir. It is indeed Yoda. Put those points onto the board. All right, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. You have the board. All right, let's stick with the trend. My Power Marvels for 200. Mm, here we go. My Power Marvels. Genius <laughs> intellect, extreme superhuman elasticity, malleability, and endurance. Resistance to most physical assaults and electricity. Virtual immunity to psychic powers. Who am I talking about? Is Mr. Fantastic? It is Mr. Fantastic. Well done, man. We'll put those points onto the board for you. All right, Bert. All right. Uh, let's do Nerdcronim for 400. Nerdcronim for 400. What does E? Extraterrestrial. Holy what is extraterrestrial? goodness gracious. Well done. Put those <laughs> points onto the board. Right, let's go to audio. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna go with uh, classic cartoons for 400. Okay, let's do this. Classic cartoons, 400. What cartoon is depicted below? Who are the Flintstones? It is the Flintstones. Well done. Put those points onto the board. All righty. So you're sitting at 6,000 points. That was a good round. Let me uh, adjust the thing for the folks at home. And we will get back over to you guys. Give me just one second here. That's All right. Awesome. Alan, you've got it. Uh, I'm going to stick with Abrams uh, for 400. Here we go. Abrams, 400. After his directorial debut in Mission Impossible 3, Abrams directed this franchise reboot that won him Best Director at the 2010 SFX Awards. Star Trek. Ryan, I believe that's correct. Do you want to double check me? Uh, repeat the answer. He said Star Trek. Star Trek. Uh, correct. Correct. Well done. Okay. Nice. Put those points onto the boat. All right, Alex, you are up. Okay. Um, let's do fighting game tournaments for two. Fighting game tournaments for two. The first iteration of this Midway fighter takes place in Earthrealm, where seven different warriors with their own reasons for entering participated in the tournament, with the prize being the continued freedom. Mortal Kombat. Holy crap, it is indeed Mortal Kombat! Put those points onto the board. All that right. Two Mortal Kombat's in a row? I mean. That might have been two Mortal Kombat's in a row. Oh. Well, no, we had to... Yeah, I don't know. Um, Todd, you are up. You have the board. Um, I'll go with the penis mightier for 200. I mean, um, sorry, uh, fighting game tournaments for 400. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Rue and Kent use the Hadouken in this Capcom franchise created in 1987. It has become one of the highest grossing video game franchises of all time, grossing over 44 million 
units? Go Capcom. I'd have to say Street Fighter. It is Street Fighter. Well done, sir. Put those points onto the board. All righty. And Zach, we are to you. All right. Big surprise. Walking Dead. Who's who for two? Here we go. Who is this depicted character? Uh, the, one of the best characters in television, Rick Grimes. Indeed, it is Rick Grimes. Well done, sir. Oh. Well done. Okay, guys. So, as it currently stands, and let's adjust this for the folks at home. 6,800 for the real spiel. 6,000 for Asgardian Levioso. Guys, I'm going to take a short break. I won't be able to hear you when I go into the screen with the other folks. Uh, just going to chat with the with them for just a couple minutes, and then we'll get right back into it, okay? All right. All righty. In the world of oh, fandom, but, there but, have but, always but, been but, challenges but, but, among nerds. Who knows but, more but, about no, geeky no, pop hey, culture? Hey, well, hey, now there's hey, a contest. What, what are you doing? Chat, what are you doing? And for all. This Chet, what are you doing? Okay, so hey, what's going on, everybody? How are you? Good to have you here. Nerdvengers, it's good to see you. What an epic match so far. What an epic match so far. I will say, the real spiel having a much better performance than last week. Really, really good. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, you guys better give Chet Boys uh, for Life a board like this next week. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, you never know. What a great intro. Hey, it is a pretty great intro. Speaking of that great intro, just want to shout out Sly. Sly's helping us out, man. High Five Creative Productions. All the fancy stuff you see, all the stuff that uh, is good about this show, Sly's doing. You know? So, shout out to him. Shout out to all of you guys. Uh, a lot of cool stuff's going on. I've been my pants several times in excitement. Well, hey, I guess that's good. I guess that's pretty good. Got the uh, Santa emojis going in there. How do I get to be a part of the match? Uh, this is the first season of this show. We will be doing another season, and uh, we'll have a way to enter at that time. So look out for that. Um, but, yeah, this, this is a... Uh, the first season of the show, the first iteration, we obviously have some kinks to work out, uh, but we're having a great time, man. It's awesome to do this with you guys each week. I have a ton of fun doing this, so pretty good stuff. Let's get right back to it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back into it. Two more rounds to close it out, and of course, the lightning round of nerd card questions. Whew, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. All right. So here we go. And we're back to Santa. And we're back to this board. Santa's been around for a while. So I'm thinking classic cartoons for eight. Here we go. Classic cartoons for eight. Santa, what's the depicted cartoon? Ooh, it's a tough one. Can I give you five, four? Ah, thinking three, Captain two. Caveman. I see Captain Caveman. Unfortunately, that is not correct, right, Ryan? That is incorrect. Okay, so that's a third strike. You clear the strikes, but anybody, anybody on Real Spiel can Alex answer this can question. Answer. Yep. Alex that is the it. Wacky Racers. Whole. Lee Cow, the wacky races. We will accept that, and that is an incredible steal. Big time move, big time move from the real spiel. Let me adjust. That's an 800 point question, so that it puts you at 7600. Okay, let me just adjust this. Okay, but you did clear your steals, you did clear the steals, so let's now go. To Spider-Man. Spider-Man, this city needs you. I think it's the other board. You're showing the wrong board. <clears throat> this city needs you. <laughs> oh, let's go. My powers, Marvel, for 800. All righty. Here we go. 
photographic reflexes, master assassin and technician, physical movement prediction, master hand-to-hand -hand combat and martial arts, master swordsman and marksman, genius level intellect, voice mimicry, and master of disguise. Who has these powers? Is Taskmaster? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice pool. Yes, it is Taskmaster. Yeah. Put those points onto the board. Wow. That's intense. All right, Bert. Oh, no. Um, yikes. I f Nerd Cronym. I'm just going to finish it. Here we go. Shield. What does this stand for? Oh no. Um Oh no. Um Strategic Homeland. Oh no. Um Can I give you 5 4 3 Strategic Homeland Initiative. Give oh, <laughs> you have three. Something defense. I don't. Ah no. Yeah, that's right that's there. gonna that's gonna, gonna be a that's gonna be a strike. It is Strategic Homeland Intervention, Intervention. Enforcement and Logistics Division. Look, it's long-winded. That was the easiest throw. No, uh, that's a tough one. No, <laughs> Shield's tough. Even hardcore Marvel fans get that one wrong. Um, okay. You can still recover. Audio. You are up. So, are we back to where we at with strikes? Uh, you have one strike currently. All right, let's go. Classic cartoons for a thousand. Classic cartoons for a thousand. What is the depicted cartoon? Damn you, Ryan. Um... <laughs> Can I give you a five, four? Three, two, gonna have to call it there. Heathcliff? No, it is Top Cat. Everybody loves Top Cat. Everybody know about oh. Top Cat. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> second strike, second strike, 6,800. That's where you guys are at. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I messed up shield. Ah. All right. Let me get Alan on here. Let's switch to the other thing. Here you go, man. All right, um, I'm having some luck with Abram, so I'm going to keep it up. Uh, let's go. Abram was at 600. Gotcha. Here we go. With help from Alex Kurtzman and Robert Orsi, this Fox Mystery of the Week type show ran from 2008 to 2013 and drew inspiration from shows like The X-Files and The Twilight Zone. I will also say my favorite thing that J.J. ever did. Give me a five, four, three, two, one. Got to call it there. It is a show called Fringe. Excellent show. You yeah. guys should definitely watch. Wait, wasn't that a steal? Oh. No, that was that was Josh. That was supposed to be a steal. Damn it, uh, Ryan. What are we What are we gonna do with this? Do we want to give half points? Yeah. Wait, but we could have. Did you guys know what Fringe was? Star Wars, did you know? Spidey knew it. Spidey knew it. Spidey knew it. Ryan, what do you think? I'm thinking 400 points. Well, Spidey knew it, though. Um, what is, um, it's 600? Yeah. Yeah. 400 points. All right, yeah. So, sorry, guys. I, I will give you the four. I apologize. That's on me. Okay. Okay, so the four, so we'll go to 72. I got to quit doing that. I got to quit being so click happy. That's my fault. Okay, that does clear the strikes. Um, and I believe that is to Alex or Todd? Um, I think it's to Alex. Alex, are you there? Muted. 
You might have been muted, man. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. We're going to do fighting game tournaments for six. Okay. Fighting game tournaments for six. The king of the Iron Fist tournament was created for this 1995 Namco PlayStation exclusive. It was the first franchise to exceed a million sales on PlayStation and the first fighting game to feature simulated 3D. Um, Virtua Fighter? Let's see. Oh, unfortunately not. It is Tekken. That'll be a strike uh. on there. Um, and Todd, you are up. Okay. Let's do Netflix and chill for 800. Netflix and chill for 800. This German sci-fi thriller concerns the aftermath of a child's disappearance, which exposes the secrets of and hidden connections among four estranged families as they slowly unravel a sinister time travel conspiracy which spans several generations. Sounds good. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, huh? Going to give you five. I'm going to say... I'm probably wrong. I'm going to say Penny Dreadful. All right. Yes, unfortunately, it is not. It is a show called Dark. Um, that'll Sounds be a second strike. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, actually, it's. I've heard it's really good. I've never seen it. Uh, Zach, you have the board. Uh, take a wild guess where I'm going with this one. I'm going to say Walking Dead. Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. All right, here we go. Who is this depicted uh -oh. character? Our dearly departed Enid. Holy cow, this guy cannot be stopped when it comes to the Walking Dead questions. Well done, it is. Yeah, I like this board a lot more. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Did it add those points? I don't think it did. Yeah, it did. It did? I don't know. Excuse me. Ryan, uh, help me out here. Did we add those points or not? I guess there's one way I could find out. If it goes down to seven. Okay, yeah, it did add up. Okay, cool. All righty. Okay, so that'll put you guys at a nice 8,600. Shout out to the 86 match. And we're back to Santa. Okay, well, let's uh, go with the comics for 400. Gotcha. Here we go. This 1987 Spider-Man run by J.M. DeMathis and Mike Zeck sees Craven take the mantle of Spider-Man for a period of time. Going to give you five, four, three... Two and one. That we're gonna have to call at. That's a third strike. Anyone on the spiel can steal this question. Um, I got nothing. Um, give you guys five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna call it there. Yeah, it is. Craven's last hunt. It's a great one. It's a great one. That's all right. That's all right. It's classic. It's classic. Uh, all right, Spider Man, you are up. All right, Spidey's gonna finish out my powers, Marvel for a thousand. Gotcha. Here we go. Excellent swordsman and hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Expert horseman. Genius physicist, strong strategist, and tactician. Magic senses, wields the sword of light and shield of night. Who is this Marvel character? Oh my gosh. This Baron Mordo? It is the Black Knight. It is the Black Knight. That'll be your first strike on the new one. I didn't know either. <laughs> yeah. And let's go to Bert. I'm going to go <clears throat> run comics run a thousand. Run comics run a thousand. 
In 2004, Joss Whedon began work on a run with this Marvel comic franchise, which included arcs such as Gifted, Dangerous, Torn, and Unstoppable. You're looking for the franchise, like the actual, like, uh... Yeah, we're going to need more than just the hero group. Gonna give you five, four, three. Avengers. I don't uh, know. Unfortunately, not. It is actually the astonishing X Men. Should that'll give be, that to you, Santa. That'll be a uh, a second Thanks. strike there. Uh, and then audio, we're back to you. And then Santa, you do have one more question in this round, okay? All right, audio. All right, we got two. We got two strikes. You are at two strikes. Yep. All right, let's go 600. Gotcha. All right, here we go. This controversial 1988 Batman one-shot comic by Alan Moore tells of one of the Joker's origin stories while also leaving Barbara Gordon paralyzed. It won an Eisner Award in 1989 for Best Graphic Album. I'm going to go with the only one I can possibly think of with the Joker and the Killing Joke. That is correct. Well done, sir. Put those points onto the board. Great pool. All right, Santa. There's only one left, my friend. And here it is. This 2002 Mark Millar run used a modern reimagining of the Avengers centered around an elite military task force to create this group. You're muted. Uh, um, five, four, three, um, one. Uh, Ultimates. Holy mother of God! Ultimates is correct. What yes. a pool by Star Wars Santa! Absolutely unbelievable. Puts you at eighty six hundred. Now. I need to double check with the chat. Ryan, are you watching the chat? Are we actually on the right point value here for the real spiel? Chat, let me know. I'm checking you out. Is Do the points seem right to you? You let me know. I'm looking at you guys right now. Because I just want to make sure. Because right now, it is currently tied, according to my numbers, 8,600 to 8,600 with a whole nother round. Okay. Everybody says they think it's good. Okay. All right. Just wanted to make sure. Alan, you have the board. You might be muted. Hey, uh, Josh, how many strikes do we have? You are currently sitting at two strikes. All right. Yeah, so as I can go, I guess uh, Abrams again for 800. Gotcha. Produced by Steven Spielberg and widely regarded as a love letter to Spielberg, Abrams directed this 2011 sci-fi monster thriller about a group of kids creating a movie when a train derails, releasing a dangerous presence into their town. Super 8. It is Super 8. Well done. Good pull. <laughs> Okay. All right, Alex, you are up. Okay, for this next one, uh, let's stick with um, fighting game tournaments for eight. Gotcha. Originally developed by Rare and released for Nintendo in 1995, Glacius and Fulgore fight for Ultratech in this fighting franchise. What is Killer Instinct? Ryan, I believe that is correct. I want to double check with you. That is correct. Well done. Put those points onto the board. All right, Todd, you got 3,000 point questions. Okay. Oh, dear. I'm going to go with fighting game tournaments for a thousand. Gotcha. Here we go. 
created by Hudson Soft. The series began in 1997 under the name Bistrozer. The game's theme incorporated anthropomorphism, where the player has the ability to transform into a half-human, half-animal creature known as a zoanthrope. Gonna give you five, four, three, two, one. Clay Fighter. I'm sorry, what was that? Clay Fighter. Uh, Ryan, double check me. I think that, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is a third strike. Anyone, anyone on Asgardian Levioso can answer this question for a steal. Is it Beast Wars? Let's check it out. It is not. It is a game called Bloody Roar, unfortunately. So that'll clear the strikes. Sigh of relief for the spiel. It. I've never heard of that. Zach? I've played it, but I just blank. <laughs> you have the board. I'll go Walking Dead for 5,000. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to let Alan take the last... JJ1, cool. so I'll go Netflix chill for a thousand. Cool. The budding teen psychopath and a rebel hungry for adventure embark on a star cross road trip in this darkly com comic series based on a graphic novel. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> Definitely not. I can't even read these sentences, and they're right in front of me, Zach! <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm Five. drawing a blank this one, uh, so Three. I'm going to go with the Life and Chronicles of Dan Ack. <laughs> nice. No, it is. Uh, what is the end of the effing world? So no oh, points there. Is that on Netflix? No owls. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. We're back to you, Alan. Let's see if the JJ streak uh, continues. Know. Although a commercial success, this is a 1999 movie, and its five credited writers, including J.J., were nominated for a Razzie Award for the worst screenplay. This is a tough one. I'm going to give you five, four, three, two, one. That one. It is Armageddon. Who yeah. knew J.J. Abrams was involved with Armageddon? Yep, it's pretty wild. Yeah. I'll All right. Ten. Two. So you guys are sitting at 10,200 points to the 8,600 points of Asgardian Levioso. So now we're going to check out the lightning round nerd card questions to see what the subject is here we go it is the fantastic four fantastic four is the subject for the lightning round nerd card question. So I'll give you guys a little bit of time, talk amongst yourselves, see who you want to represent your team, and see how many points you are going to wager. Fantastic Four, it's gonna be tricky. It is going to be tricky, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody in the chat doing? How we feeling tonight? 1400. Or Spidey? I, I mean, yeah. Man, I could. They're deciding. They're deciding. Well, that'd be great. Well, we can try it. Who do you... you go. I'll go. He's got it. Very good. Doing great. I called for it all last week. Having a great time. Nice, man. That's good to hear. Great and tired? Heard that. Nice, but damn it. I want to make a video clip of Johnny Storm's song he performs in the 90s. First Mole Man episode. 
right. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. It's unbelievable. Suspenseful, yeah. It is suspenseful. Sp I got a new pair of pants on right on Jacob's Quest. Right on, brother. Right on. Yeah, this is a good match. This is a good match. And, and it's it's down to the wire. Of course, you guys got to go check out Debate 8 after this over on Fan Jexer's channel. He's probably getting that ready right now. Uh, should be a really good one. I believe he's doing the X-Men movies. Don't. Let X2 beat out Logan, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to need the Nerdvengers over there repping Logan real, real hard. So make sure you check that out. All right. Do you guys have who will be participating? Okay, cool. So, yeah, you guys will be the first team to go because you are down. And who will be going for the spiel? In the chat. Sorry, sorry. What would you say, Landon? Want me to type the bet in the chat? Yeah, you can either message it to me uh, per privately, but I think I heard what you guys uh, said. But yeah, you can shoot shoot it to me on Discord in like a solo message or whatever. Quick change your bet so they don't know. And Spidey, <laughs> I want you to pick either high or low. High. All right, it is high. Okay, so we'll go with this list. Okay, are you ready? You will need to get three out of five of these questions correct, okay? First question. What is the name of the android that looks like a dragon in the future foundation? No idea. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's actually Dragon Man, believe it or not, is the name of him. Okay, first that's first cool. strike here. What Fantastic Four member was thought of as a proxy or as the alter ego of Jack Kirby? Meaning, what of the Fantastic Four did Jack Kirby model after himself? Thing? That is correct. It is the thing. Well done. Next question. What does Johnny Storm say before he uses his powers? Flame on. Flame on is correct. Next question. What are the names of Sue Storm and R Reed Richards' children? One of them's Franklin. Yes. Gonna give you Another one. five, four, oh. Emily, three. What'd you say? Emily. It is not Emily. It is Val or Valeria. Okay, so that's two that you got incorrect, right? So this is, yeah. you have to get this one correct. Last question. What is the thing's battle cry? Gonna give you five? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, unfortunately, it's it's clobber in time. That's the thing's battle cry. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Hey, good good try, good that. effort. Look, oh, that no. was that. Those were some crazy questions. I think you did a good job there. I know I know your team's not that upset. Oh, no. Um, no, that's the, good. The real spiel takes no, it. Good. Um, let's just do a little bit of I chatting did. with everybody, just to see how everybody's feeling. Uh, Spidey, how do you how you feel, man? I know it's uh. Kind of a tough spot. Man, like right as you said it, I knew it, but I couldn't think of it in the time. So that was a that was a rough set of questions. It's a yeah, really it's rough a rough. I thought you were gonna do it. I thought you were gonna be the first team to get out of the nerd card lightning round, but alas, it just wasn't your night. That's all good though. Star Wars Santa, how you feeling, man? You know, this was a, a, a ton of fun. I think uh, the nerd card showdown. This is being the first season of it. 
Uh, we had a great time. I've made some new friends and uh, look forward to uh, the rest of the season, seeing how it all plays out. Absolutely, it's man. It's a team to beat out there for sure. So uh, let's see if they can do it. Absolutely. Always the good spirit, always the positive. Love to have you in this community, Santa. Thanks, man. Thanks very much. Burke, how you feeling, man? Listen, it's been a lot of fun and uh, it was some tough competition out there. I uh, I blew some big points on a, on a good board, but it was just fun to play. Uh, but I'll tell you what, when you guys see the Chet boys later, make sure you take them down for us. Oh, oh nice. Nice rivalry. Oh, Audio, how you feeling, man? I mean, it was it was a good battle. There's uh, some good questions on both sides, some tough questions on both sides, but uh, it was a great, it was a great season and uh, can't, can't wait to come back and try to what defend for next season absolutely absolutely alan big win big match for you hey how you feeling man uh we were totally embarrassed last week uh so we did a lot of studying and uh i think it showed a little better but man it, it was a, that was fun it was a great match was absolutely great match. man absolutely and what's everybody honest, else over there feeling man the how's alex how's yeah. todd what are they thinking uh, Alex, how you feeling, bro? I'm feeling pretty good about it, man. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this thing. Uh, it's, you know, it, just, <laughs> it feels good. It feels good to win. And uh, shout out to the other team. You guys played a hell of a game. And uh, I can't you. wait for the next one. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Zach, you got some thoughts, brother? How you feeling? Uh, I'm well, feeling good. Uh, thank you to Santa for picking that board. Um, but... Uh, I also want to say thanks to my family members I know are watching right now. Shout out to Nicole, too. I love you. And, uh, you know, just uh, can't wait for the next match. Uh, it's been a great Wednesday tradition, you know, for the last few weeks. Every week you got to tune in and watch, and it's just been a blast. And uh, can't wait for next time and a great, great match tonight. Absolutely, man. Absolutely agree. I thought I thought it was an incredible match. Both teams performed really, really well. Wow. Good stuff. Good stuff, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for he us here this evening. Thank you all for tuning in. Get over to Debate 8 and make sure you come back next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for another episode of the Nerd Card Showdown. For me and everyone here at the Denim Nerds, thank you again. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and we'll see you in the next video. Wait, is that delay on chat? So the delay is gonna, so they're not gonna be able to.